today's topic is Anthony Joshua coming off the big win against Vladimir Klitschko facing Deontay Bomb Squad Wilder. I'm thinking right now, 2018, we should actually see this fight. And wow, folks, this is going to be the first time, whenever this fight does happen, it's going to be the first time in 10, 15, even almost 20 years now since the United States fans have been forced into a position where they have to pay for a heavyweight matchup, a heavyweight pay-per-view. It seems like all the other weight classes are able to do a heavyweight matchup that they charge you for. I mean, not a heavyweight matchup, but a, a pay-per-view match where they charge you for. It's been a long time since the, the big guys, the heavyweight division, has been able to charge you because there's so much anticipation over a match. And we're going to see it. I doubt if it goes on 2017. Really, if I was uh, Joshua's corner, I would be trying to hold off for this fight as long as possible, man. 2020. Because I still think this kid needs a lot of work. And he needs more experience. But the fans might be pressuring these two fighters to meet up a lot sooner than that. On the Deontay Wilder side, I believe Deontay is like 31, 32. Maybe he doesn't want to wait that long. He's a little bit older than Joshua, and I think that he needs to strike while the metal's hot. As soon as possible, he needs to get out there and face this kid because, you know what? And 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 like I talked about in my uh, the Klitschko Joshua video I just did, I actually was able to gauge Joshua better after seeing him against Klitschko. Because before, the competition level was so weak, I didn't know what the kid was capable of and what he wasn't. But some things still stand out to me. On the negative, one of the the negative things that really stands out in my eyes is the fact that Joshua does not switch head slots. He does not move his head. With that said, one of the best things he that, that Joshua does is he shows me that he's defensively responsible. So, I mean, you're not moving your head, but you're all, you're getting your hands up there. You're trying to swat punches away. I didn't see too much of uh, shoulder rolling or anything out there, but I did see uh, uh, an effort. I saw an effort to get out of the way using his feet, um, swatting away punches, catching punches, like I said. So I did see some effort there. Uh, back to the negative. Mm, the chin. Kind of didn't like the way Klitschko floored you. Klitschko hasn't had a lot of knockdowns or knockouts in a very long time. And Klitschko coming in looking so lean and trim, I was surprised he was able to generate enough power to drop this kid. Which just is something to hold on in your back pocket for the future. Um... You know what, and I think this is kind of what spurred me and my, my anger a little bit today was the fact that I, I'm scrolling down social media and I see somebody from the UK put up a, a meme that says, do you think AJ can beat Rocky Marciano's record? And I'm sitting there like, Jesus Christ, dude. The kid got 19 wins. 19, everybody. That's not even 20. 19 wins. And you're already talking about him breaking people's records? What the hell is wrong with these people? I, I really don't understand where they come from. Why? Because there's another champion that's been around for a while, who's been avoided by all the top guys for a while. His name is Deontay Wilder. He's from the United States. I believe he's uh, originally from Oklahoma. <clears throat> Oklahoma or Alabama or something like that, out there in the country. But we got a champ right here in the States who's 39-0 and 0 with 37 knockouts, people. So I think, possibly, maybe, just using my crazy way of addition that I learned in a place called school, I think that it would be easier for Wilder to reach Marciano's record than Joshua in the next couple of years. I'm just saying. 
Now, we're looking at a potential fight between these two guys. You know, as the future goes on, I'm going to be talking a lot about this because I am a big fan of Wilder. Followed him for quite a while. And I do like Joshua. I like Joshua's personality. I think he needs more development as a fighter, but I do like his personality and I like his heart. So I'm waiting for this monster movie to happen. I mean, this is Godzilla versus King Kong in real time. And I'm excited finally for a heavyweight matchup. And I'm I'm just going to say this. If a guy has a 98 97% knockout ratio out of almost 40 fights. Even if you want to say every single one was a bum. That means you got enough power that you knocked out almost 40 bums. I'm still going to say that he's stronger than a guy who only has 20 fights with 20 knockouts. Who also fought all bums except for one. Now does that one fight against Klitschko add up to 20 fights for another fighter. Somehow, I don't think it really adds up. Klitschko, even though he came out, he looked great, lean and trim, and he used everything he could. At the end of the day, he's still an older fighter. You're talking about somebody who was around during the uh, Lennox Lewis days, man. And Lennox Lewis is actually really in the 90s who comes into the millennium still winning until he retires. But that's how far, like, this stuff goes back. You haven't really had a good heavyweight champion that the United States has cared about since, really, Mike Tyson. I mean, you've had champions who came along in the division, but you, for some reason they just didn't catch on in the States. Nobody really supported these guys. You know, you had Chris Bird, you had uh, Lamont, uh, Lehman Brewster, that's the guy's name. Uh, you also had Klitschko, who's from, I think, the Ukraine. I mean, you had Lennox Lewis. None of these people really got, none of these fighters really got, like, this huge adornment or or all the love from the fans, you know, the way a Manny Pacquiao did, the way a Floyd Mayweather did, the way a Mike Tyson did from a former era. And I think it's unfair, but I think the winner... Out of Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder will get get just that. They will be the man, all hands down. I think that fight ends up ends up in a knockout as well. And right now, today, I would pick Deontay Wilder. I bet the bank on him. Even though I do like the way Anthony Joshua fights on the inside. Wilder, I've never seen fight on the inside. I've never seen anybody get that close to him and try to do some body work. You know, try to throw an uppercut. Never seen Wilder in that position. He keeps you long range. So, I mean, either way, I think this fight is a great fight because it looks like we got a big man who can fight on the inside against a bigger man who can fight on the outside. Both have power. One seems like his chin is a little suspect. Wilder, we will never know because nobody's been able to get close to Wilder. So we don't know. So we have to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that right now, today, Wilder has the better chin. He's never been dropped as a professional. All right, five fans. We're going to keep it going. The heavyweight division is starting to heat up. The mighty mean Joe Frazier. One.